In the next 203 seconds I will show you all the commands that are needed to create your first Docker file. If you do not know what Docker is or how everything from a Docker file to images and containers work together, check out my Docker basics video. The link is in the video description below. To create a Docker file, you can simply create an empty text file without any extension like .dxt and call it Docker file. Your Docker file holds all the instructions that are needed to build and run your application and is used to create images. Every Docker file needs a base image to start with. Yes, yes I know, this sounds confusing. How can we create an image out of a Docker file when we need an image for a Docker file? Let me explain. Imagine your base image as an empty canvas. Your Docker file will describe everything that should be created on this canvas. To get started, there are two ways. You can just start from scratch and create a new image altogether. To do this, you start your Docker file with the command from scratch. This would be a completely empty canvas for your new image and you have to define every detail yourself like operating system, file system, packages and so on. The easier and more common way to get started is to get an already defined base image from your Docker Hub registry that fits your purpose. How do you choose the right one? It depends on several factors like programming language, packages needed, operating system, speed, security and so on. But don't worry, I got you covered with another video on that too. By the way, if you need a more detailed explanation on this topic, check out my extensive blog post and Docker cheat sheet. Or just join our community over on Discord, where we discuss all kinds of happy coding accidents. you find all the links in the video description below. In my case, I will choose a Node.js Alpine image, because it offers a lightweight Linux distribution that makes my final image smaller, more secure and has Node.js pre-installed. And I'm from the Alps anyway, so it seems to be a good fit. Next, we will use copy to Yes, you guessed it, copy everything we want from our host machine to our new image. This could be a single file, directories or the whole source code of our application. If we want to ignore any files or directories, we can simply create a .dockerignore file and list them all there. To save some time, Docker has a handy cache function built into it. Each line of code is considered a layer. Each layer is cached as long as nothing changes. When one layer changes and we build a new image, it starts at this layer and builds everything beneath it new. We can use this to copy our package JSON and package log JSON to the Docker file first before installing and copying the complete application code. That way, when we make changes to our source code, it will not reinstall all packages again unless the package JSON or package log JSON has changed. We can also run all sorts of commands with run. For example, to install packages or build our application. Another command you can use is expose. It is not really a command, but more like a glorified comment. You can tell other developers what board should be used, but expose does not open this board for your application. Keep that in mind. Finally, the cmd command. While all other commands will be executed during the build of our image, the cmd command will only run when we start a container out of our image. And that's it. Congratulations, you created your first Docker file. In the next video, I will show you how to create your image out of a Docker file in 122 seconds. See you in the next one.